going on guys i'm uh, back out here in the back of my property i'm gonna work on this culvert pipe today i meaning to do it for a week now and every time i want to get out here it started raining on me i was out here the other day and i just finished shooting the intro and the rain started falling so i had to stop call it quits because i didn't want the rain to ruin the footage so i'm um, out here again today as you can see i laid out this culvert pipe where i want it to go after i laid it out i used some marker paint this way i can pull up this culvert pipe and i'll have a guideline of where to dig and i don't know if you guys noticed but there was a huge bush here real ugly bush i ended up cutting that out yesterday um, and I was actually going to shoot the video yesterday, but by the time I got done cutting this bush out and working on some other stuff It was just getting too late in the day to start on it We did have some rain today and we had rain a couple days ago as well So I'm hoping this ground is a little bit softer now. Hopefully I don't get into any roots um, There is a tree right here, but I'm hoping there isn't any roots out this far And then there is some more trees up here, which is one of the reasons I'm staying to the right with this pipe um, I don't want to get too close to these stumps. There's a tree here, a stump, a stump here. You know, I really would have liked to run a straight line right through here and out this way. But I know for a fact I'd get into a bunch of roots over here and it wouldn't be too fun to dig. So we're going to come out and kind of curve it off to the right here. And as I'd mentioned in my other video, there is a berm here. As you can see, the pipe is going up over the berm. Um, this berm was put here for my leach bed. So when it drains out, if you can see it there. When it drains out, it fouls, you know, the side of the berm here and goes out down into the ravine. So I plan on digging out this berm right here. And then once the pipe is put down, I will rebuild the berm and that should be all set there. Um, back up here, I'm going to have to use a shovel. And I'd like to get underneath this pipe here so I can dig it out a little bit and get this off of here. So this is my neighbor's original drain pipe and uh, over time dirt and stuff has got underneath it and kind of risen it up. So what I want to do is dig underneath it with a shovel to get this uh, pipe down a little bit more. So that way it's already going to be angled down for when I extend this pipe and that way I can keep it going downhill. Um, and as you can see from here, it is all downhill and I'm going to follow the low spot in my yard pretty much. And um, that way it's pretty much all going to be downhill digging. But when I lay the culvert pipe in here, I did bring with me a two foot level which I will periodically check it once I lay the pipe in and make sure we got a nice slope on that pipe for drainage. And aside from that, that's gonna be about it. So let me just go and get my diesel and uh, we'll get to work. Diesel, what are you doing? You ready to get to work? You ready to get to work? Come on. Got that dug out got a nice little angle to it now going downhill now i could uh start digging out the rest of this uh before i start digging though i do got to take care of the stake that the neighbor put in here um he put this in here so that nobody hit his line uh so we'll get that pulled out of the ground i'll just use my small quarter inch chain wrap it around and rip it out and i'll pull this pipe up out of the way and we'll get to digging We got that out of the way i have a feeling that this is going to be the hardest part to dig is right in here because there was a lot of stones in here 
and I think I'm gonna hit the most amount of roots probably in this area because of this big tree that's right here. Um, so I'll have to see how it goes. I think once I get past this brown patch here, I think over here is not gonna be too bad, uh, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes.
it's not digging too bad. I'm hitting some roots. There's a big one right there. Um, cut right through it with the bucket. Um, as you can see, I ain't got a whole lot of space behind me. I got these stumps, this tree, there's a stump right there. And I'm backing up over a stump right here. So the whole tractor is kind of like this. So it's really hard to dig when your tractor's at an angle because it's going to want to dig at an angle. So, but that's all right. Once I get this dug out for the most part at the depth that I want, I will take a shovel and kind of touch it up and uh, get it exactly where I want it when I lay the pipe in. So it's no big deal if there's low sections and high sections because I'll get that leveled out with the shovel. Um, so yeah, we're right at the end here. The berm is like right here. So uh, maybe another bucket full or two and then I'll be getting into the berm. And um, once I lay that pipe in, I'll have to rebuild that berm there, which would be no problem. I do have some topsoil laying around over here. It's not real good stuff, but it's what I pulled out of my alleyway that was like the sod and whatnot. I'll use that if I need to, to put some a top coat on this. Um, I did want to build it up here anyway because it was a low spot in my yard, so it wouldn't hurt if it was a little high anyway. Um, so yeah, let's keep going here. top off that berm because the tractor wasn't walking up that it was such a steep berm that I had to actually knock the top off of it so I get up and over it so I got up on top of it and I was able to dig that out um, now I just got to get this last little section here that I can't really get to to the stump so I'm gonna have to try to come at an angle here so I can get to that I got the most of it dug out. 
Uh, there's still some spots here that are a little bit low still. I'm gonna kind of touch these spots up a little bit. Uh, aside from that, the rest of it looks really good. And I'd like to get up here a little bit more where I started. This was the lowest spot in my yard anyway, so it's already pretty low. So I don't have to get this very deep, but I'd like to see if I can get a little bit deeper. There were a lot of rocks in this and some roots as well. So hopefully I can get past them and get this just a little bit deeper and I'd be happy with that. All right, guys. I was able to get this dug out a lot deeper than I did before. Uh, like I said, there was a lot of gravel in here and two huge roots right here that I'm trying to break through. Another big one right there, as you can see. I'll dig the rest of this out with a shovel. I don't want to hit the pipe anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it turned out pretty good. Got it pretty deep all the way through. You know, it's not bad once you get a start on it. Once you once you get your depth that you want and you kind of get your line going, you're just following your bucket line and you're kind of following that depth. So once you get your original depth, you can just keep going through. And, um, you know, it's not that easy to make it curve real nice with a bucket, but I managed to do it. Hit a couple more big roots in here. Um, and then over here was a little bit challenging. I tried to drive up the side of this bank here and it was just too steep. One of my tires was spinning in the front. So finally, I just knocked the top off of it with the bucket. I drove up over it, dumped it over here, and then I was able to get up on top of it high enough so that I can get the rest of this dug out. So now I can lay my pipe in here and I'll rebuild that berm and fill the rest in. Um, I'm probably gonna continue this on tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's Friday, so I wouldn't mind being out here a little bit later uh, working on this. So um, I'll probably end up touching it up a little bit more. And um, once I feel I got it where I want it, I'll lay the pipe in and uh, we can backfill it. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So. Just a nice little short video for you guys today, and I should have another one again tomorrow. So we'll see you guys then, and I appreciate you watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. You gotta say bye too. Get back here.